Hey everyone, it's Kira, and if you hear that noise, that is my fan. It is really, really hot in my room. Well, I live in California, it's just hot naturally. <laughs> so, I hope uh, you guys had tuned in to um, the show Wednesday. Um, so, yeah. Um, I already Instagrammed uh, this photo. Um... I know I was going to do a, uh, post, uh, I mean, a video, about the Urban Decay Woodstock and the L'Oreal Infallible, uh, Glistening Garnet and compare the two, but I had two other eyeshadows in my collection that were, like, almost like the same kind of color, you know, in the, uh, Garnet, in the Garnet. Um, the magenta uh, family. So, uh, two of them are high end and two of them are drugstore. So, this first color here, this, this color here, is the Urban Decay uh, Woodstock. That's the color of it right there. Uh, this color here is, um, L'Oreal Infallible Glistening Garnet. That's that color. This color here is, uh, Max, uh, Tease with Ease. And this last color here is um, Wet n Wild uh, Spoiled Brat. Now, I did a, a tutorial on this palette, but that's uh, that color right there. Now, um, when comparing um, these eyeshadows, um, I noticed that the Wet n Wild and the Urban Decay look um, so similar. So I'll, uh, swatch that for you guys. So this is the Urban Decay and this is the Wet n Wild. So, I mean, very similar, um, looks. Um, they are very, very similar in, um, in color. Um, um, uh, overall, um, personally, um, if you're, like, looking for, like, these kind of colors, I would suggest, um, picking up the, uh, Wet n Wild and Spoiled Brat. I know that they have a single icon color in, um, in this, in this color, so I'd recommend you also get that, and now I don't have it in my, uh, collection. Uh, the Walmart by me, uh, stopped, uh, carrying the single icon eyeshadows. I don't know why. Um, now, as far as the glistening garnet, it has, like, a, uh, metallic, um, like, look to it. Um, it's different from, like, all these other colors, but the, um, Urban Decay and the, the MAC, I mean, they look kind of similar. I mean, of course, the Urban Decay is, like, a bit brighter and the MAC is a bit darker, but, um, when swatched, because this is the Urban Decay, and this is MAC. When swatched, uh, they, you know, look, like, kind of like the same. So, I, personally, for me, I wouldn't spend, like, the, the money on getting the Urban Decay and the MAC. I would just get the, uh, Wet n Wild. Um, the Glistening Garnet, 
Um, now when I was looking up pictures, uh, to do this dupe video for, like, the Urban Decay one, um, in the video, in the pictures, they look like the, uh, kind of, like, similar, but when swatched, they are totally different. Um, like I said, the L'Oreal one has a metallic, uh, finish to it. But overall, I mean, it's really pretty color. Um, but if you're looking for, like, kind of like that metallic finish, then I would uh, recommend the L'Oreal one. But, um, if you're looking for something like, um, Urban Decay's, uh, Woodstock and, um, MAC Tees with Ease, then I suggest picking up, uh, this palette by Wet n Wild and Spoiled Brat. Um, this magenta color is a great dupe for, uh, both colors. So, so yeah, um, I hope that this video was helpful for, uh, some of you guys out there, um, looking for some of these, uh, magenta colors. So, yeah, I mean, it was kind of, um, bit fun playing around with, you know, like these colors. If you guys actually want to see a tutorial on, um, on any of these colors, uh, let me know, and I'll get to it. So I'll talk to you guys later. Until then, peace and love. Bye!